Tai Kung people. Approximately 120,000 Kung people live in northeast Myanmar, formerly Burma, and areas of northern Thailand. There is some confusion regarding the Kung people. Some sources state that there are 100,000 living in Thailand, but this is not accurate. There are few Kung communities in Thailand, with perhaps a population of only 5,000. The authoritative ethnologue, which lists every known language in the world, doubts there are any Kung in Thailand at all. Joachim Schlesinger says that the Kung in Thailand inhabit four districts, Muang, San Patong, Sam Lang, and Hang Dong, in Chiang Mai province. Part of the reason for this confusion is that the Thai-speaking groups in the Kengtung Valley area in Myanmar's Shan state where the Kun live seem to be ethnically, culturally, and linguistically interrelated. The Kun people themselves are said to have a deep and strongly rooted culture of self-determination. Their homeland has been their center of civilization for many centuries. Kengtung City has been the main center of habitation for the Kun since the son of the Lana King Mengrei founded the Kingdom of Kengtung in the 12th century. The ancestors of the Kun in Thailand were war captives brought from Myanmar in the early 1800s. Although the large majority of Kun people are Theravada Buddhists, their religious worldview includes strong elements of spirit worship and ancestor worship. The most important spirit is the spirit of the land which has to be propitiated daily with food and beverage, at the spirit house found in almost every Kung compound. The Kung honor ancestral spirits. On the full moon in June, Kung villagers worship their ancestors with offerings of boiled pork meat, chicken, fruit, rice, and flowers at a special altar inside their houses. In the past few decades a significant Christian church has emerged in Myanmar's Shan state. Thousands of people from ethnic groups such as the Shan, Aka, and Lahu have put their trust in Christ. As a result, some Kun have heard the Gospel, and about 2,000 are Christians today.